Hello, welcome to my show. Who the hell am I? Well, if you don't know, you may have seen me in Spelling Bee or The Lion and the Wiz, or on the electric company watching TV with your kids. But if you saw Memphis, how could you forget this? The smile, the style, the fat, the blow. Welcome to the James Monroe Animal Heart Show. How am I doing? Pretty good? Hi. This is another wonderful episode of the James Monroe Eichelhart Show. Um, don't even ask if the set's gotten better. I think you all know the answer to that. No. Doesn't really matter if we won a Tony. Doesn't really matter if we have lots of money now. My budget is still nothing. But you all love me, so thank you, and I love you all as well. But I decided since I have no set, I'll do something interesting. I'll interview someone in the mirror. So today, I'm going to interview our brand new, or I should say, well, he's brand new, but not really. He's been on stage so many times, he's just like family now. One of our wonderful and amazing swings, Mr. Brian Langlitz. Hi. Brian, how are you doing, my man? Good. Really cool, good. cool. Yeah. So, uh, just in case I got your name wrong, I know that people mess up Eichelhart all the time. Please state your name for the fans of the James Moore Eichelhart Show. I am Brian Christopher Langlitz. I add the Christopher for interviews. Nice, very um, nice. That's it. That's all I got. B-R-Y-A-N. And um, Christopher, is that the equity name, or is that just your nope, name? Nope, just Brian Langlitz. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, Brian... Um, you came to our show a couple of months ago, right? About maybe four... Middle of July. Middle of July. Yeah. And you have been fantastic. I mean, they kind of shot you out of a cannon when you came here. You kind of came in for a little bit yeah. and then boom. But before that, let's, 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 go, let's go back a little bit. How'd you start, you know, in this business? Were you always a theater kid? Were you a sport, a jock? What was it? How, not, how that. Was it? not that. Certainly not that. Not that. I was a... Uh, I was really into music mm -hmm. as a little kid. Uh, yeah. Played the drums in elementary school. Same here. And then, yeah, yeah. I wish I kept playing the drums. Me too. <laughs> um, and then I started dancing in middle school, and then that led to community theater, and then that led to high school oh. theater, and then I went to school for musical theater. How did, uh, let's back up. Let's back up. Okay. Bit. So how did the kid <laughs> who just loved oh, music oh, oh, oh. end up becoming a Going to dance class because in you know because how that happened. My dad uh, plays the drums and the guitar as well, and so while I was learning that, he would sometimes just kind of like jam out, and I'd like get moving. Like, really? Crazy. Okay. Yeah, and then like yeah, they've got like you know a little six year old like ripping around the basement dancing, <laughs> and they're like maybe put him in dance class. <laughs> Except they never did, because um, I I did I did play like t ball and soccer, right. and I was real bad. Uh, yeah. And I hated it. My parents realized that sports wasn't my ministry around that same time. <laughs> I was doing cartwheels down the soccer field. Okay. Like, they were like, mm, not gonna work. <laughs> um, and then I think I asked in like fifth grade. I was like, I think I want to do. I think I want to dance. All right. So yeah. And your parents were totally cool. With they were you. the coolest. They're still. All right. The that's really cool. That's, they were like, go nice. do your thing. We know nothing about this. It's kind of funny to us, I think. Um, and the, then, and then it just kept. Now, did, you, now, did you have one of those crazy experiences where you were the only boy in the class? Always. Or the, really? Yeah. For, okay, fifth grade. Uh, fifth grade was the only year that I was in a dance recital. <laughs> and it was to be our guest. <laughs> so I take it you were a Lumiere. Well, uh, except it was one of those like big, like huge um, dance schools where... That just happened to be the song that we were dancing to, and we happened to be in, like, tuxedos, just because, because I can't really explain it. And it was me and, like, 30 other girls, and then I left that school, because um, I didn't want to be in recitals anymore. <laughs> and, you didn't want to uh, smile and tap? No. And then, uh, and then I moved to a different school, and I didn't have to do, I was still the only other guy there, um, mm -hmm. except uh, Philip Spaeth, who is also on Broadway, uh, currently in. We went on the verge, and you did Wicked, and all this other cool stuff. Um, we were at the same studio together. Nice. Yeah, and then okay. like, kind of reconvened in New York. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, where are you from? Marlton, New Jersey. Yeah. Marlton, New Jersey. South Jersey, outside of Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, not like Jersey Shore, Jersey. <laughs> Although, you know, okay, here's what I'm noticing. I am noticing more folks that are in our show that are from Jersey. Mm -hmm. And a lot of, I live in Jersey now. And these people that are in this MTV television show... I have yet to meet some Jersey people like that. I've seen some chicks dressed like them chicks. Because they're but from I, Staten Island. That's what I thought. I, all these people are actually technically, no offense, y'all, are actually from New York. Right. And, <laughs> but we well, won't talk about that. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, <laughs> no. 
They're not from New York. Where are they from? They're from Staten Island. Okay, yeah. Staten, okay, that's different. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was a wonderful cameo from John Eric Parker. And you know I will get everybody. We'll be getting John Eric very soon on the James Bond ah! show. So, but thanks for the cameo, bro. You know I love you. So, you're from Jersey, and uh, Southside, you said close to Philadelphia. Yeah, like... And at what time... Did you ever move from there, or did you... Yeah, Was I, it just like a switch, just no, dance school, and then, bam, I'm, in, I'm on Broadway? No, not that. Uh, I grew up there, I went to high school there, and then I went to college in Michigan uh, for four years, and I spent... Michigan? University of Michigan. So, you went to school with a couple of our other cast members? With uh, Sydney. Yes, Sydney Martin. Martin. Current cast member and previous cast member, Carrie Tedder. Carrie Tedder. Through high school. And then I decided I wanted to go to college for it, so I had to audition for programs, uh, musical theater programs, for several universities. Okay. Um, which was like a big, big process. And I, I, kind, of, um, I kind of took it easy with that. I, I applied to four schools, um, and a lot of my friends that I ended up going to school with applied to like 12 schools. Which was crazy, because um, yeah. it was a whole, I, the college application process was hard enough, and then on top of that were these auditions where I'd have to go visit a school and then go back to audition for the school. Right. Um, what schools, what are the schools besides I went to, Michigan? okay, so I applied at uh, University of Michigan, Penn State, because my brother went there, okay. and they had an awesome program, they still do, uh, Syracuse University, and University of the Arts in Philadelphia. Nice. And I only got into Michigan. So I had to go there. Oh, okay. Hey. Thank God, though. Yes. It. Well, but it's not like Michigan doesn't have a great program. No, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> it's but I was like, amazing program. I was actually applying to community college when I got in. Because I was like, like, I didn't get into my safety school. I'm not going to get into this school. So I'm going to go back a little bit. What musical show, what's your favorite musical show from high school? And what's your favorite musical show from community theater? Okay. Uh, I got to do, in high school, um... Les Mis, which was really fun. Because so you the high like, school version of Les Mis? Or you I don't know if it was, because I know there's like two versions of that. I think we might have just done the original. I had this crazy theater program in high school where, um, Cherokee High School, uh, <laughs> they were awesome. They still are. They, uh, they, we had this incredible program. He means they had money. We had a lot of money. So, for those of you who oh, went to high school with me, you remember our school didn't have any money. We won't talk about that. I get a little bitter about that. So we, you had, say, we had a turntable. I mean, we had... I mean, it was again, crazy. their high school had money. Yeah. We, we, went, we did all of our shows in the lunchroom. Yeah. Let's stop. Okay, go ahead. So, that was really cool. So, that was like, that was a big year, and I got to play um, Tenardier and that. Right. And that was cool. I mean, it was like a 17-year-old. Um, and then in community theater, I, I got in seventh grade, which is earlier. Okay. Um, I yeah, got to do To Kill a Mockingbird, which was, like, what got me into, like, really looking at, like, uh, actors and acting and, and yeah, not because of this. It was that's a real, that's a awesome. really meaty show. It was show. really awesome, and that, I mean, that was, like, I, I, it sounds like a little silly, but that, at, in 14, I guess, it was 13 or 14, I, that's, like, when it sort of changed for me, and I said, okay, I want to not just dance, I want to, you know, look at some some stories, some, you know. Now you said your your father was a drummer. What did you, what did your mom do? Oh, my dad. I mean, he he does that on the like the side. He's, so they're, like not a hobby. they're not no, performers. No, no, not at all. So was not it at all. was it strange for them to like That's see the their thing. son and go? Yeah, this boy's a performer. Yeah, my dad has like um, some musical background from you know just like playing the guitar and drums through college. I'm um, just kind of on his own. Um, he is in sales, and my mom is a preschool teacher, and uh, preschool and first grade kind of goes back and Hold forth. On. What's your mom's name? Lori Langlitz. Lori Langlitz. Thank you. Thank you for being a teacher. My mom is a teacher as well. Thank you for teaching the kids of our country. We need good teachers because we have a lot of knuckleheads out there. So thank you for your patience and your time. Thank you very much. Yeah, she's, I always have to give a shout she's out to wonderful. Teachers. She's been doing it for like 25 years, too. Oh, wow. she, yeah, she okay. and loves it. Um, and st has always done that and still does that. But I, I always remember them kind of joking, like, where did this come, <laughs> come from? from? <laughs> you want to do what now? And I have an older brother, um, I have two brothers, but my older brother uh, was more, I wouldn't say the jock, but was super into sports and a little bit quieter um, and was a little bit like, again, like, what? what? You want to dance to be our guest in fifth grade? <laughs> 